um, because movers are here a little bit early and we are packing today and I really wanted to have um, a video showing all the rooms in my house because we love this house and so we are out. So I ran around and cleaned up everything. It is not normally this straightened up so you could see it. I'm going to start outside. I started in here because the cicadas are so loud right now that I didn't think you would hear me. So I'm going to show you the outside of the house, but basically when I go out there, you're going to hear nothing but the plague. <laughs> so come on out. Here you go. And of course, I don't know if you can hear me, there's a pile of boots because I didn't run out here and clean. And we always have boots out here. And I don't know, there's like our new pets, the cicadas. Um, I don't know, Dave, do you want to show them? Dave's filming, my husband. Um, do you want to show them like the kind of front yard? So I don't, can anyone, can you guys hear me out here? I'm kind of yelling. Can they hear me? I don't know. Um, so I take a lot of pictures of different spots of the house and lots of times people are like, oh, I love your backyard or if you, it's actually my front yard. A lot of the pictures are in. This is where our little, um, fire pit area is. And then this is actually normally this little bistro table and chairs. It's kind of at the top of our hill. It's normally back there, um, but we had like a little blanket out and had like wine and food out here the other night and I never moved it back. Um, but yeah, so it's always in some state of flux and things are not always where they're supposed to be. Um, and this is the front of the house. And we totally fell in love with this house. The first time I saw it, um, we had to take trees down because one of them got struck by, was struck by lightning Dave or just fell down in a storm? Just windstorm. Windstorm. So one of our trees, which was like a big Bradford pear, kind of broke in half. Um, and they were really close to the house. So we had to take them down. But this whole front area that you're seeing used to be like in the forest. Um, and I really fell in love with it the first time I saw it. The house originally had red shutters and sort of red accents. But we switched it to black and then sanded down all, actually we dipped, not really sanded down. We dipped the original shutters had them done in a natural stain. But they basically became red again over the years, so I think they just want to be red, so that's fine. Here, we kept the original boxwood, and then I put in white sage salvia, because I love it. And here are my dead boxwoods on either side, which I find a really beautiful touch. Really adds some charm to your home. Your well worn right door. Oh yeah, and so I designed this door um, with Wellborn Wright, their company that we're working with and doing like flooring and that kind of thing. So I designed this cool door. It used to be a solid door, which was actually really beautiful. And it had a little like red stained glass square with a cage over it. It was very medieval. But I wanted to add sunlight. Here, come in so I have to yell at you through the cicadas. <laughs> but I wanted to add sunlight and lighten up the house. Um, so we went with the steel door here. So the house is Alsatian, not German, but yeah. Alsace was... was German French as you can get. Yep, exactly. And I love, so this is one of the things we really fell in love with in the house. It came with these like bottle tub. Oh look, we have to save him. Oh my god, oh lord. <laughs> okay, let me get him out. Sorry guys. Really say not to touch butterflies. I was trying not to touch them, but a little more there. Um, they were the mouth though. Anyway, um, so yeah, so the back to the windows. So these windows on um, the family who originally owned the house um, brought from, I think it was the original restaurant in DC. I hope I'm saying this right. Yep. Um, so they owned Le Berger Francois and then they built this house at the same time they were doing the restaurant. And then I will just kind of start telling you about everything. This is definitely gonna be overkill, um, but I'll go for it. This is this really cool kind of tree tapestry. It's just called decorator paper. Kind of inexpensive. I see it for sale, like at barn sales all the time, but it's actually new. Um, this piece is falling apart now, but it was a beautiful old chair that came with our house that I'm going to get fixed one day, and it's coming with me because I'm in love with it. It's a Spanish mission? Spanish, but I don't think it's necessarily okay. mission. You might, you might know what I mean. Hmm, I definitely don't. Call it out, but I don't know here. I do that. <laughs> and then this is a... Um, it's a concrete console table. This is one of my favorite pieces, you guys. If anyone has followed for a while, probably see all these things in every house. Um, this here is an old church pew, which, can you believe the luck that it fit like just perfectly right here um, under the stained window, stained glass window? And we, I'll kind of show you there. Hi, Mom. Mom. Can you put it, me on the thing where there's another thing that stitches those other spoon races on your bottom? The 
on your bottom. Listen, mm -hmm. you know what, Salesy? I'm gonna do this video. I'm thing. a warmer. Oh my gosh, you're the wrong kid. <laughs> you don't worry. Can you ask Phoebe to help you? Can you do no, that? I can't find her. Phoebe's right there waiting. She's That's right there with you. Take care of your bars. Phoebe's our babysitter. Jill, do you want to take worry of Phoebe? Big, 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 more pushing skills. Okay, sorry guys. So, where was I? Oh yeah, so then this crucifix, we got to, um, the family left a lot of things for us with the house. And so we love just kind of using what they left for us and putting it around. But we felt like it was really fitting. We're like, we had the church pew, and I was sitting next to my nose, like we're hiding the crucifix there. And we're Catholic, so it makes sense too. But I'm gonna show you. We're like, not selling this stuff. We are just showing everyone the house for good times. Oh, do people think it was for sale? Yeah. I probably do sound like I'm selling it now. <laughs> I am not selling this stuff. I'm just giving you a house tour. <laughs> the house was built in 78. Yes, that's so um, funny. And brought back to life like in I'm 2016. Like I'm home shopping network right now. Like $62. No, um, yeah, not selling this stuff. But can you guys, you can't even see that at night, at the, in the daytime, can you? See, at night when we turn this mm -hmm. on, it kind of glows, but I'll turn it off. But that's the front hall closet there. Are you doing there? That's, people want to know how we hung those. Oh, yeah. You know, we got this from an antique place. I definitely would not buy new ones. Um, coat hanger say, for coat that hanger. one. Well, and they just had it in there, and we, it worked perfectly. Okay, so this is our foyer, and then the floors, we usually get a lot of questions about the floors. They are terracotta, glazed, hand-glazed terracotta. They're new, and the original foyer had, also had hexagon terracotta, terracotta tiles, but they were sort of a deep red. So... A lot of what we did in the house, you're going to see the trim. We sanded it down. Um, most of it's pine. Some of it is oak for some random different woods. It used to all be dark. So most of what we did for the house was we loved it, loved the bones, but just sort of lightened it up so it was a little bit more our style. And so went kind of the same floors, but white. Kept the trim, sanded it down. Um, let's see what else. Here is an antique or vintage mirror that I have. There's Dave. You want to say hi? Here's Dave, <laughs> holding himself. All right, do you guys want to go to the kitchen? Kitchen? Okay, so here is our kitchen. I wish I had something living in here to show you right now, but I don't. Um, do you remember who the tile, who made the tile? Seneca, though mm -hmm. they did, their factory burnt down. So they're going to, in a year or so, be back up, but um, so Barco makes pretty. People want to know if you're gonna miss this house. I'm gonna miss this house a ton. Yeah, I'm, I'm sad. <laughs> you guys are going to be crying. <laughs> I'm definitely going to miss it, but I feel like we have really good new places to go to. So this place has a piece of my heart for sure. I feel like this house really um, taught me, taught us how to live in a different way. I think that's Dave's phone. I got that. Well, to get all deep in you is probably a very good time for the, for what, the, the gate. Is, can I just open the gate? Yeah, just open it. Okay. Um, sorry, guys. Okay. Hold on, I messed that up. Let me give it to him. I'll take, the, I'll take it for a second. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm just going to start filming from behind and showing you pieces while he does this. <laughs> All right, so the perimeter countertop, I see that question, um, is actually a fumed black granite. And I do prefer soapstone to this. I've had both. And this one's great, but I liked how um, soapstone will sort of like chip off and... Um, get more patina to it. The granite is kind of indestructible, which a lot of people probably like, but I don't. <laughs> Someone's like, can you leave everything and I can move in? Absolutely. <laughs> uh, okay, so kind of going through here. So a lot of things that I do, people often ask me in kitchen designs why I do what I do, um, because I like to spread out the refrigerator and get it on one wall in its own area near the microwave. So it's sort of its own little zone. So when I'm cooking over here, kids and other humans can come in, grab something, microwave it, do their thing, and they're not bothering me. Because it drives me crazy when I'm doing stuff in the kitchen and people try to come back here. I'm always like, get on your side. Um, so, and often what I'll do with that station is put wine glasses because I have like, you know, a fridge right here. I like to pull up a glass, you know, bottle of wine, bottle, get a glass, and um, keep like kind of fun, like prep things here. So here's all of our like juicers and not so pretty stuff we kind of hide over here. Um, I can show you this, it's sort of a hot mess right now, but one of the things I did that I actually really love having in this house is we did, if you look at our cabinets, I actually did a drywall frame and then had it skim coated in a rough way 
So it sort of looked like old plaster. Um, I would have done real plaster, but it was really expensive, so we did it this way. Um, and then I kind of just made these shelves here where I'll put like our like vegetables just like out in a basket and our, you know, like pots and pans, all that kind of thing. But I like things when they're really easy at the ready. Like here, like it's like a pile of napkins. Um, our dish rags are down there. I like things where you can just sort of grab them and use them. Um, here, let's see, we have a few more people coming. We have movers here and everything, so it's crazy. Um, countertop is sandalous granite. It looks a lot like wood, but it's actually stone. Um, the cabinets are all white oak. And then I went with the sort of old, you know, kind of antique brass looking hardware. Um, the hood, we used the proportions of our fireplace mirror was going here. Hi, Ed. How are you? And then, do you want to, I'll keep it filming if you guys want to go figure out. Okay, I'm going to turn you guys around here because our movers are have questions. So the hood here kind of got this idea of that shape because I wanted to kind of replicate that shape. So the proportions are really similar if you see the two. The other thing I did with this fireplace, because this was here originally and I fell in love with it, is the shape of that kind of really wide archway. We did that, I'll try to get back so you can see, we did that same shape that's there um, as an opening between our living room and our kitchen. So originally when we moved in the house, this was a solid wall here. And this was actually the laundry room here. This was a very small opening. And then this whole wall had closets in it, laundry room over here. And the fridge was like here. And then we added a mudroom, Dave's, Dave's back. We added a mudroom because we cannot function without a mudroom. I guess I'll show you that in a second. Um, so yeah, we just kind of reconfigured this whole area of the house to make it functional for us. So that's a Lieber fridge. Um, yeah. Those bottles are the um, hydrosols. Oh yeah, and that, the refills. I love. So I'm addicted to the hydrosols that we sell at our shop. They're by Starbright Farm. It's local, and I just like love all the herbs. So I have a lot extra for refills because I'm always spraying them on everyone, everything. Um, and the Lieber is cool here because it's got like a. Um, or Dave's still filming bottles. It's got a drink area here, and then this is freezer, this is fridge. Um, we get a lot of questions. We have an induction cooktop. I love it. Um, we do have gas in the house, but we had induction already, and I fell in love with it. I love how quickly you can boil things. Um, so we stuck with induction, and we're still doing induction. Another thing I do in kitchen, so okay, so I take the fridge and its little microwave zone over there. Then I like to take the range and make a focal wall out of it. And then I like to take the sink and get it on another wall and make a focal wall of this. Everyone's like, are you tired? I'm like, it's really not that bad to walk, you know, 18 feet to here. I'm good with it. But first time I made that decision, I was scared. Um, I think this is our third or fourth kitchen with this layout. I just love it so much. And generally my clients get the same layout. <laughs> so yes, don't call if you don't want to walk, I guess. Um, and then the fridge here or the sink here was really, really important to me. We have two dishwashers on either side of the sink. Um, we have five dishwashers. We have five? Oh, my children, yes. You can't wash dishes yet. Um, but that is one of those things that was sort of those like splurges, luxury items, having two dishwashers. Um, if you have a big family, I can't recommend it enough because there's no longer that like plug up when the dishwasher is full. And sometimes like a whole day, we can't even fit everything in one dishwasher. So it's really nice. Um, Dave mentioned our dishwashers. That is probably uh, the biggest thing that was kind of changing this design or developing the design because our kids do do the dishes, which is amazing, and so they use a stool. So I wanted to make sure that we had the skirted sink so we could hide the stool, which comes out all the time every day. Now granted, they don't ever actually put it away, um, but at least it has a spot so when I attempt to put it away, there's a spot for it. And then what I did here, which is also really good for kids dishwashing, is if you can, I don't know if you can see her in the side, but this sink is angled, so it comes out, there's a three inch angle where the countertop is here, and this comes out three extra inches. That little angle and all of that has saved so much in terms of water falling down because it kind of just like comes up to their waist and um, it's just a lot less spillage, which I like. There's still a ton of spillage. We had to refinish the floors here because of these kids, but. Also a massive uh, sink. Massive sink. So the other thing I love to do, if possible, 
Um, most people do put the sink um, under a window. I will if I can, but when I can't, functionally I like the sink a little bit better because I love a wall-mounted faucet. And this one's an articulating faucet. I love it. So we don't have a sprayer, but if you see, this baby can just like reach the whole thing. It can actually reach out. No, yeah, yeah, that's a problem. Over? <laughs> okay. Onto the counter? Yes. So when we first got it, we definitely had those, kit, those issues with the kids just like, yeah, it, 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 it's happened. Um, but not, I don't feel like in a few years. No, it hasn't happened in a long time. We're past that point. Um, but I do love being able to wall mount a faucet because that extra three or four inches that you get here when you would have to deck mount a sink, our sink is really deep. And then we got that extra inches in the front. So we have an extra deep sink, which I love. Um, so I would say in the kitchen, really where we splurged was this whole sink, double dishwasher situation, and I would do it again for sure. Um, we have white oak shelves where I just kind of pile all my stuff up there, um, just all the stuff we use all the time. People ask, does the stuff get dusty? The stuff we do not use, yes, does get dusty. And the stuff we do use, it doesn't get dusty because we're using it all the time. So, but I don't mind if I have to take something I haven't touched in a year, I'll just like wash it if I have to. What am I? Do you have question? Uh, this was water works. Oh, and then right before we sold the house, we installed um, tile behind the sink, can't talk. Um, and it is not grouted which I love. That's my tile from Architesta called Potters. And it's a four by four and I love it because there's like variation. They're like this, none of them are the same color, which is nice. Um, what else we have? Oh, the secret stools. Okay, so. Mike just closed. Just closed, okay. So then the, what I love doing is, sometimes I get really tired or I wanna have a glass of wine while I'm chopping and prepping. And so we put these, what I call secret stools on the back side of the island, you look here. And so this is Dave's spot and this is my spot. And um, it's great because we can all fit here as a family. When we first got the house, designed the kitchen, we only had four kids and thought we would only have four kids. So four bar stools fit perfectly. Um, we had to since add a fifth bar stool and they really don't fit very well. Um, but we've made it work. <laughs> so that's that. I think, oh, and these, those are pretty. I feel like we should show those. So all the hardware does not match, which I love. And I made the um, sink skirt out of just like an old Ikea curtain. And so I have a couple different extra ones of those. So when they get dirty, which they do all the time, we just keep extras under there and wash them. And then is there anything else? Beans. So we added these beans in the kitchen to kind of work with the beans that were already here. And I just hang things like cutting boards on the wall and just keep it really simple and easy. And then one of the things that was really important to me in this kitchen, again, see like that, that sort of like drywall frame around everything. So what we did was we created a doorway here because this used to just all be open, created a doorway here. And then we have one on both um, sides when you walk in. And I love just this really little shallow pantry that we have here that just hides a ton of stuff. And they're only, what are they, six inches? I think five or six inches deep. They're great. We're trying not to show the inside right because it's like hot mess. <laughs> I didn't care. All right, this is a hot mess, I will show you. So here is our um, mud room, and this is seriously how we function. So I know it is a hot mess, but it's actually an organized mess, which I love. And like the bar stools, we moved in and we only made six sections, but then we had Rory, so the girls double up in here. And then I'll kind of show you how this comes out here. This is like, the, like, the side of the house you would never see because it's got like all the AC units and stuff. Um, but yeah, it's back here. Oh, don't show it. You just showed a cup, didn't you? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's our mess. That's awesome. See, they should put that stuff away. I tell them. All right, then I'll take you through. Should we get to the dining room? The, the, the living room. I oh. didn't go to the back. I think it's because I like the way it looks like better. Okay. And then this is our living room, which we love. I think it was the living room that really sold me on the house. It was these windows I'm gonna show you. Um, they're original French promongles. And when you open them up, it feels like you're totally outside as you can tell from the cicadas. <laughs> no, that. They have screens, which is nice. And generally all spring and fall, we just fling the windows open every day. And I love it. Um, here is my couch. This is the lady sofa. I fixed the pillows. 
um, from my collection, and it's a white washable slip cover. And you guys can see, I mean, there's pillows on it, but pretty white for, for all the kids and dogs. Uh, but you can just wash it. Oh, look, someone's chewed up something. See, in every room, there's a chewed up toy. That's new because I actually cleaned before I filmed this video, so that's how often we're getting chewed up toys in here. Um, I think I talked a bit about the fireplace. We did sand it down. We sanded down all the windows in here. But one of my favorite things about it is that there are these four different little dots on the different corners. So as we go around, we'll show you all the different ones. But this is here originally. I just love it. This is my Mary. Lots of people ask about where I found it. It was just at like a like an antique place like outside in the yard. And I got it. My dad gave it to me. This I also found at an antique place. This is from our shop, and those are from our yard. They're actually from the fall, and I just dried them and kept them. Um, here's an interesting piece. It's just like loaded with stuff. This is um, just an old table that I found for like $32 or $26, probably like 10 years ago, and love it so much because it just can hold, it can hold all of our cookbooks right now. And so this is a piece that we reproduced for my furniture line. Um, and I called it the leftover table because I felt like someone made it out of like leftover wood that they had. Um, let's see, this sofa a lot of people ask about is a really old one from Anthropology. They discontinued it based on an Arne Norald um, actual design from the I think, 60s. Here is our bar area and here is my dad and Dave's dad hanging out at the bar when they were younger. <laughs> And um, yeah, this is like where we kind of just like store all of our drinkware and can, we don't really entertain right now, but where we used to entertain. Um, I, will t I love stump tables. There's an old stump table. And oh, this piece here, which is just like one of my favorite pieces, is an old cypress tree root that my dad found when I was a baby fishing in Georgia. And when he gave it to me, it had a bass mounted to it. I was like, thanks for this, Dad. Like, got to dish the bass and I've kept the tree root. He's, but he always, he's always telling me I need to put my bass back on it. Um, but I love that piece. Let's see, what else? Okay, dining room. Here is our dining room. And we'll tuck the chairs in. And really, we actually eat in here a ton um, because we don't all really fit that island all the time. And this is just the same fireplace on the other side. We love having fires here. Um, having the fireplace on in the fall and the winter. Um, we're the type of people that use our fireplace like almost every night when we can. Um, here's my big old hutch, just like not styled, um, just with a ton of stuff on it. And I use all this stuff all the time for just arrangements around the house. Let's see. I think I hear more people coming in. Do you need to go check? I think someone's here. I'll keep talking, guys. Sorry. Okay. Let's see, so artwork in here um, is, oh, you're gonna hear my dogs too. So the artwork, most of it is actually by my kids um, here. Sorry, my dogs are barking because more people are here moving stuff. Um, like my son does these, um, her, I think her name is Meline Berger. I'm not sure I'm saying that right, but she does these kind of cool portraits and my son, when he was little, saw them and thought they were super cool. And then this is from one of my sons. It's uh, Justin. It's of I think a goose, a goose or chicken. Yeah, a goose. goose looks more. Like, yeah, looks. It's a goose. It looks like a chicken. But it is a goose. Um, so here you can see. I mean, they're just kind of disheveled. But this was by our daughter when she was a baby. So we just kind of add pieces in. And what I'll do is I'll buy things like this that have like they're inexpensive and I don't necessarily like love what's in the frame, and then just hang them up and wait for a time when we can just paint it. And I keep. There are paint supplies and black paint right in the dining room over here. So whenever anyone feels like it, they can just, oh, you want that back. They can just start painting and sort of filling in the wall. So these flowers will eventually become something. Well, not here though, because we're moving. Um, this brings me like an insane amount of joy. It's a little old zinc table. And this is where I grow plants and kill plants. Um, this one is dead. This one is dying. These are all the seeds. I'll show you guys. I'm kind of proud of this. So I harvested a ton of our wildflowers and um, like. Isn't this a homework? 
I might have done. I don't know if I did a homework on that. No. So I harvested helped. a bunch of our. Um, really helped. No, like that was a different one we planted, mm. but this is the harvesting. So I harvested like a ton of different seeds, so I can bring wildflowers with me to the next houses. And then we organized and made like little seed packets here, which I love. I love all this stuff. Do you know who the curtains are? Creations Metaphor is the name of that company. I don't remember the pattern, but I love it. Um, I feel like you should zoom in on those, they're so pretty. And then another cool thing is um, we found these old little Bavarian chairs, and I couldn't care, I'll show you here because it's for that. I could not believe the color when I found these. Isn't that great? They're not exact, but it looks pretty good together. But don't say this to myself. <laughs> and so out here, I'll just show you. You can just kind of glance through. We have like a screen porch out there, but there's a lot of people. So we have a screen and a porch. A lot of cicadas. A lot of cicadas. And no one can hear there. Honey. And then this, we call Lumiere. Lumiere is the um, candlestick, and it came with our house. Her candelabra. The ceilings are a true nine. Yeah, exactly nine feet, which I love. Nine feet, I've, after living here, I've decided is my favorite ceiling height. Um, lots of people love the 10, it's great, but I love the nine because it's just like that perfect middle, middle height. So, all right, so you wanna go to- You like the baseboard heating, right? I love the baseboard heating, um, I really do. It's, it's, a, it's a much um, less dry heat, so it's really nice in the winter. Um, here is my collection of botanicals, which I move with me to every house. Um, I just love those. And then coming here, <gasps> I've got their closet over here. Sorry. Why are they out there? I love it. Can I? No, it's all right. They're hanging? They're just... They're just... Do you guys want to come inside? Are you girls hot? Hey, Mom. You want to come in? Do you want to come inside? Oh, you're watching us. Are you watching yourself? That's so <laughs> funny. Mama. All right, we'll go together. Just inside, but we want you to come inside. Oh, you're so cute. Yeah, I know. Are you going to come inside? Okay. Coffee table is just an antique coffee table we found. Mm. Yeah, so yeah. sweaty. Go get some water. Okay, just lay on me while I talk, and then you can relax. Super cold water. So she's literally watching this live right now. So okay. Funny. So I'll take you in here. This is our powder room. So we we haven't actually moved yet. We move next weekend. Well, and today because the movers. Oh yeah, we're starting moving today. We started packing. Um, so here's our powder room. This is a sink by one of my favorite companies, Atmosphere. Um, I just love, love, love it. Um, this is one of Aurora's favorite places to play because they just like to stand there and play with the water. Same stained glass. Same stained glass here. And then I just did like an antique mirror. And then you can come see our little vintage door knocker. Can you see that there, guys? This is from Amber Interiors. Amber sent that to me. Very sweet. Um, okay. And then coming into here, this is what we call the four chair room. I'm gonna close the door because it's so, so loud. Hot. So loud. Um, did you drop it? Okay. I did not bend over. I forgot to dress on. <laughs> okay, so this is our four chair room, and we use this room really a ton in the colder months because we have a lot of fires in here as well. And it's basically four chair room because it's just four chairs, and it's really comfy, and I love it because. It's gonna get loud again, but it opens right to our back garden. Which, do you wanna come see that real quick? I'll talk loud, I'll yell. Hey, Mom, that's Hi, Mom. Mom. Why you and there's your swing set. Yeah, I'm gonna And so that. it's super loud out here, so I'll try to be quick, but this is sort of our potting table area where we just like get stuff done. The kids eat out here a lot. Um, I've got Wisteria going crazy, attacking my house. We're reconnecting. We're back. Hey guys, sorry, we're back. The backyard does not like. Got too far from the router. Got too far from the router. Okay, so this is the four chair room. Then we opened up this wall. This was the original owner's suite um, when we first moved in, but we wanted to be upstairs with the kids. So we took this wall down and now we created what we call the room of requirement. And um, we usually take that picture down and we'll do a projector screen on there so we can watch movies in here and kind of in that entire space. And then the girls, what is this where you want to show them your kitchen? Yeah, you're so the, tired. The patio pendants were original. We save as much as we can. Yes, I love the patio pendants. Um, they were there. And I actually, in projects, will go after like really similar ones all the time. Where are the light fixtures from in the kitchen? 
kitchen. Um, we are, they're available at our shop. Yeah, so just go there and there. Forget what they're called. Um, but they're at Lauren Lee's and Co. They're on there. <laughs> so, uh, and then here, this like chalkboard. These are Rory and Zaley's little chairs. The conference room. The conference room, basically. So this room has just changed a lot, and we also kind of use it as a library. Um, this, these bookshelves fit perfectly here, which was awesome. So we didn't actually build them in; they're just up against the wall. I don't know if you can see them down the hallway. And we are big readers, and so this is just like a small collection of all of our books. We're always shoving books wherever we can. And I do all of my favorite like herbal books, and I have like you know herbal teas, medicinal encyclopedias, all that random stuff. And then we have like fantasy and all, yeah. And then here's Dave's lovely classics and all of that. Um, behind you, do you want to show them here? This is a bathroom because this used to be the owner's suite. And so we kind of just kept the original tile, which was terracotta, and I loved it. And then added a new vanity. We did regrab it. We did reground it, yeah, yes. to just to freshen it up. And then she's got the hover. And we did that, and then we um, just did all this and like, oh my God, there are these in there. And just new tile and new faucets everywhere throughout the house. Our dogs hate that noise. Yeah, our dogs, this is where we shower our dogs. Oh, they okay. hear those rollers. Yeah. They go running. They go running, <laughs> yep. Hi, Do you want to go do a Phoebe? I'll be done so soon, Lord Blair. Thank you. Okay. We're, we're filming. You're watching, I think. That's what she's doing. Mm -hmm. So up here, this hallway, um, at the banisters, we sanded down here. This cabinet here, which I would recommend for anybody, um, is the lost and found cabinet that we keep in our foyer. So, like, friends, if you're watching this, here's where all your stuff is at. Um, you need to get back before we move back to everybody. Um, but whenever people leave things here, pop it in there. Um, this is my collection of sort of like botanicals and etchings, and I'm just always adding to it over time. It's been years of collecting. This is this cool um, zodiac light fixture. So showing your botanicals. Oh yeah, and my my crooked my crooked hanging job. And there's more of the stained glass up there. Here. And yeah, so this is super cool. You can just kind of move it. But this is like the different zodiac signs here, which I love. And if you come stand back here, you can see how it silhouettes like really, it's like a cool, like I love this house because it was like kind of mysterious and there's just like weird nooks and crannies. And so we kind of tried to put perky things in there as well. All right, so should we go? And then we added these stairs here that, that you're kind of, I don't know if you saw them anyway. We added these, so the attic used to be completely blocked off in dark, but we finished it and there used to be a ladder that you would climb up in the other room. We got rid of the ladder, added the stairs, and then added windows up there. So I'll show you that in a bit. And then here's our bedroom here. And what did we change here? Okay. Where's the light from? The Zodiac? Visual Comfort. Visual Comfort. Yep, I love that one. And then this is our bedroom. Um, found the bed, it's vintage, um, and then this nightstand was a new one that I, well, probably eight years old, but we cut it down to get it down to like 30 inches so that it would be the same height as this old like writing desk that I use over on my side. So this is my side, that's Dave's side. We used to not have sides, but here I think we developed sides like, for the first time because I wanted to be near the window. Um, so I'll show you guys again right here the, the play. But I love our room because we can just like in the morning, we just look outside and see the view. Hear the sounds of the bugs. It's great. It's really great. And then our daughter's bedroom is right next to us. And so they can walk out from their room under the same balcony. Does like, everyone else have the cicadas right now? Is yeah, people would, people were talking it's about crazy. it. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, it's crazy. Actually, kind of hurts your ears. What? Actually, kind of hurts your ears. I know it's so loud. Um, okay, and I wish you were no TV in the bedroom, people. But we we totally are TV in the bedroom, people. And we pile in this bed for like movies all the time. I would say, I don't know how many of us can fit in this bed, but 
it's probably like... It's usually one man, odd man out. Yeah, it's usually... Usually one person. Either me, Justin, or Christian are on yeah, the one floor or on this, this thing yeah. with like a pillow. So this old pine piece, the kids... I don't think there's anything... There's not much in it. So the kids use it for like magic shows and move it around. The cicadas do kind of hurt my ears. It's really... It's, loud. it's really loud. Yeah. So there used to be a wall of closets here and the room stopped. And about a third of the house was unfinished. So we took the unfinished space and turned it into um, our bathroom and closet. And then on the other side, put our son in the other unfinished space. So we really increased the square footage um, by adding a basement, an attic, and a third of the upstairs house. We added a lot of square footage here. Um, here is where it's sort of like a little vestibule before you get to the bathroom and our closet. And I added this big armoire, which I love. It's staying with the house, but it's where I keep my shoes and it keeps me really organized. So definitely need to do another one of those. And then we have a mirror here. And then coming into the bedroom, so we added this wall. Coming into the bedroom, the bathroom is probably my favorite room in the whole house. Um, here's where we did splurge on that stucco that I love so much. And it is waterproof. And so we just continued it like right into the shower. I really love that seamless look whenever I can get it. So we have two shower heads here and two. And um, floors are more of the glazed terracotta tile. And then um, that's the bathroom. I don't know how many home things in there. <laughs> and then this mirror, Dave and I found, it was one of the first things we ever purchased when we got married. It was um, from Luckett's. And it was like our big splurge, and so I'll move that with me to every house. So we got a new pretty mirror for the new owners, but that's coming with us. And then here's our vanity. A lot of times people do the two sink vanity. I really like one, so I have more counter cup space, um, but I'm not sure he does. <laughs> so, um, and then our tub is. I'm pleading the fifth. He's pleading the fifth. And then the copper tub is a favorite. I'm so sad. It was from Signature Hardware, and they discontinued it. Right now there's. Um, Blue Elsa stuff, Elsa soap. Um, but if they discontinued it, and so I, would, I was going to use it for my next house and could not, and it was a great price too. Um, here I will not, I will spare you the cicadas again. But our favorite part about this room is um, taking a bath and just opening these windows and looking out at the view. Um, love doing that when it's snowing. And then we also added beams in here and just went with simple orbs for the light fixtures. That's about that in here, right? Okay. Okay. It only gets worse from here, folks. I'm just going to show you some kids' bedrooms and attics. So if you're really curious, stay on it, Matt. Um, my closet's kind of a mess right now. I've already started packing, but that's our closet there. And we'll keep going. Oh, another thing I really love. I put these around the house. They're just these old sconces with candles in them. And I love lighting those at night and turning off the real lights. It makes it feel like very old fashioned. Um, I will take you into the kids bath here. That's too bright. There's a bed that way. Bed that way. Bed that way. Okay. This is the kids bath. Also kept the original terracotta tile here. Once again. And re grouted it. Yep. To freshen it up. Um, we kept the original tub as well, right? In here? Mm -hmm. Original tub and just added new tile. More of that potter's tile for my architect collection. And then added a new vanity here. Um, an antique mirror that's like chippy and falling apart, and I love that. Um, I always love this window here. That was an alpha closet. Yes, I, I do have done a lot of alpha closets for ourselves. They're like not the prettiest, but they're super functional. Well, where's your dress from? I've had this. Um, it's Calvin Klein from probably 15 years ago, I think. It's like falling apart at the hem. Is, is that a humble brag? That it had Calvin Klein. Oh, I, this is the same dress I've had since high school. I didn't say that, but I was actually <laughs> stronger in high school, so I actually weighed more. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, who did the vanity? The vanity I found at house. I need a new camera guy, don't I, guys? <laughs> I think that's everything here. Oh, and to show you where the house used to end, yeah. there was a wall, I think, it was before this one, right? It was stopped it? right there. Oh, was it here? It stopped right there. Oh, you're right, because there's that. Okay, yep. so the house used to stop here, and there was a doorway here into the unfinished space. And that unfinished space, you could get to our bathroom through it. I'm just going to actually... Just peek in. Okay. 
okay, well, one of our sons is homesick. It's not COVID, he was tested. Um, come on in, I'll show you the laundry room. So you used to climb into the attic by a ladder here, got rid of the ladder, added laundry room, washer dryer, more of the uh, glazed terracotta floors, just did a really simple um, butcher block top, and then this cute little vintage, found a vintage sink, and then we just used like industrial taps for it. I don't know if I've ever used the sink. We put it in when we were I selling. Have. have you used it? Yes. We put it in when we were selling the house, and so we haven't had it very long, but it's nice to finally have the sink. This piece um, is a Stays. favorite. Yeah. yeah, this is staying. The new owners bought it. Um, but it's an old Belgian piece. It used to be, I think, old, I think he said an old lady's garden stuff, the guy we bought it from. Christian, okay, don't film Christian, he's sad. Just hide yourself. Come on Instagram live and just hide yourself. So Christian's in here. You can just kind of see his room. I did a reel of it. Sorry, sweetie. <laughs> He's trying to smile. Love you. Bye, honey. So we added that we moved the Poor kitchen kid. windows. <laughs> Poor kid. We, his room used to be pitch black, and we moved the kitchen window, the original kitchen windows, up to his bedroom. So you guys saw how sunny it was in there. Um, so he has a nice sunny bedroom now. And then the beams were already there in his room. All right. I'm going to show you the most tragic room of our home, so I'm going to walk really fast, it is my two sons' room. They trash it all the time, and the two dogs sleep with them on their beds, so they're constantly eating their quilts and ruining everything. So this is their room, but our favorite part of the room were was these really cool coat of arms, and they were left with our house, so we love them. Our kids are really into like medieval stuff and fantasy and all that, so they love that. And then I found this I was going to sell at our shop, and our kids saw it, and they were like, we need that. It's like that, you know, famous tapestry, but it's also in Harry Potter, so they wanted it. And then, I think that's pretty much in here. Yeah, it's kind of like just a, I, I really didn't decorate the boys' room so much. But, and then the other floor is some, like, fantasy animal. I don't even know what it is, right? And, then, and it, it smells like dog in here. Yeah, don't tell them that. Yeah, oh. it's kind of a dirty room, sorry. We try, we try. Um, we hear it out as often well as we can. Their rug is gone. We've already started packing up. But um, yeah, this is their room. We love it. This is Rory's bed, the little one. Dilsey's bed, the older one. And this wallpaper um, I call Giselle's Web. I designed it when Giselle was born. And if you look closely, there's like a little spider in it. And then this is the balcony that walks right out to the same balcony as before. There's a little chair also in my fabric, Giselle's Web. And this is just such a great little spot for them. Kind of have like little like reading spots and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna miss this room. Can we tell about the secret passage? There's a secret passage from their closet. We don't need to open it. Okay. Um, but there's a like it goes from their closet to the boys' closet, which is really cool. That little door behind Louis's bed. He's <laughs> very excited. About it. Connects. And to another that thing I love, so I think you can hear. I think this is like I think this is Pottery Barn. This is just one of my favorite bookshelves ever that I love to stick in kids' rooms, like behind the door. You don't even necessarily have to see it, but it's like everything, it holds everything, which is great. And then the boys' bathroom is so tiny, I'm not sure you can really like see it, uh, but same deal. We kept the terracotta floors and regrouted. We did the waterproof plaster in here as well. I really had wished I'd splurged more on the shower door. It wasn't really part of that process, <laughs> so it is what it is. Um, and then coming upstairs, here. Not really very clean up here either. Love that shot. <laughs> Are people asking to see that part? Uh, yeah, lots of people were asking. <laughs> Um, this is our, what do we call this? Our attic, basically. It's like our craft space. Um, we have like sewing machine here, games, coloring books. There's Fawn. She's in her crate right now because we love people here. Dogs being tortured. Hi, Nina. Um, and then we have, this is where, this used to be my desk, but I pulled out because he was too messy. I was like, I'm not working up here anymore. So then it became the kids' like homeschool area. Hence, it's got like markers all over it. It's totally a hot mess now. Um, and then here are kind of all my design books. Like if you come over here and look this way, you can see like 
all my favorite books, and I come up here to get inspiration and get excited about a new project. And then over here was Dave's side, and then we did a huge window seat here. Um, this was like a vent originally on the house, so we turned it into a window, and then you can see my art is falling down. And this is like our old landscape collection that I've had for so long. And then more kids' books here, this way. There's, and a, then, there's little nooks, too. Yeah, I could turn those lights on. Yeah, I don't know. It's filming. Okay. Yep. That's where Rory and Zalesy pretend they're going to school, and the kids play down there. I don't know why kids always find like the smallest spot, right? That. Oh, honey, it's okay. You're okay. When the, when the electrician leaves, you can come out. Can we make it through the whole house? That, that's pretty much it. Yeah, I mean, there's yeah. basement. No one wants to see that. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for uh, watching this, and I hope you enjoyed. And uh, I'll be showing the whole house pictures and pretty glamour pictures in my next book. So, And then I've, like, like word vomit about everything and every feeling I had about the house at that point, too. So, thank you, guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay.